guys, it is, what day is it? October 6th, 7th. It's October 7th. We are on our way to our very first midwife appointment. We are so excited. Don't know what to expect, but I think it's gonna be fun. Figure out what exactly we are in for here. I am 13 weeks and two days based off my last miss, uh, based off my last period. I'm 13 weeks and two days. So, yeah. So we'll go see what the midwife has yeah. to say. Yeah. And, Sorry. And then we'll go get some dinner afterwards. So, okay. <laughs> and measure um, by its distance from your pubic bone to the top of your uterus and then the halfway point and then from the top of your um, uterus to your belly button and after that I measure in centimeters okay. um, from the top of your pubic bone to the top of your uterus. Okay. Okay. Usually those centimeters will correspond with um, how many weeks you are. Okay. It's like pretty close. Cool. Nice and relaxed and tender. Not When did you first find it? I first found it right out of 11 weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, we both heard it. Got it on camera. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice. want the real heartbeat, it has a clicking sound to it. And you actually hear the opening and the closing of the hearts of the huh. heart valves. That's what the clicking is. That's you. Mm -hmm. That's placental blood flow. We'll be able to get right on it more okay. often yeah. and hear that clicking noise. And then obviously like during labor and stuff, we'll hear that. Definitely heard it though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yep. You could hear the echo. Yeah. Sounds good. 
and it's nice and fast, like 160, 170. So at first, it's always fast. Yeah. Um, when we get a little further along, it will be more dependent on what it's doing uh -huh. and what's happening to okay. it. So it'll be like 130s, 140s mm -hmm. sometimes, and we'll wiggle it and make sure it goes up when we wiggle it, mm -hmm. and that just checks on how well the baby's doing, handling its environment, etc. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Okay, so we just left the appointment for, with our midwife, and I feel really good. I feel pretty good about doing a home birth. Like, she just knows what she's talking about, and like, she answers all my questions, and like, um, basically today was mainly like just asking and answering questions, filling out paperwork, and then um, we got to hear the heartbeat, and uh, you guys will see all that in the footage when we got to hear the heartbeat. And it was about, what'd she say, like 168 or something like that? It was 160, 170 range. Yeah. I was like so excited, like it's becoming so real. Yay! Ah, guys, I'm pregnant! Bye, bye. I'm pregnant! We're gonna make a, well we made a baby. We're gonna have a baby in six months. Yeah! Oh, I'm just so excited, I'm so thankful. And like, I just feel amazing right now, so. And morning sickness is starting to fade slowly away. go away. There's still a little bit left over, but I'm really hoping that this is it. That this is like my breakthrough with the freaking morning sickness. So, okay, let's go get some food. About the midwife appointment. Not really. I was impressed by her. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's look at the camera. I'm excited. What are you taking from this experience? Everything that I can. <laughs> I'm taking you all with me. No, it was good. It really was good. We were able to ask questions. She asked questions. You know, it's cool because she's more natural, which is how I, I was raised. Which is pretty cool. So, we have a lot of the same viewpoints. But in your learning. Yeah. I'm excited. It's like all I can say is I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. So, now I'm just ready to eat. Better freaking enjoy that beer. It's like an fest. I just got my water. <laughs> lemon in it. It's a mojito. It's a mojito. Don't let her lie to you. Sorry. We're going to have a, a problem child because she's drinking the whole pregnancy. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I haven't drank anything. No soda, no alcohol, no fun, no nothing. <laughs> just puking and losing 20 pounds over here from puking. Yep. <laughs> Yum. I got some pretzels and beer cheese, some quesadillas. Oh, those look amazing. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. So, we just ate, and I feel a little bit better. Now I'm just praying that it stays in my stomach. <laughs> I was, start, I was starting to get hangry there. I was I was hungry like when we left to go to the appointment. The she appointment. Was yelling at me. Oh shut up, no I wasn't. Beating me. Shut up. The appointment was about an hour and a half and then like luckily we didn't have to like wait to sit down or anything. I probably would have like ripped somebody's hair out. I was starting to get really hungry. Yeah, we got sat right away. I was actually surprised. Don't, we were pretty busy. Don't get in the way of a hungry pregnant lady. A hungry, hungry. A hungry mama. I was gonna say hip hop, so. but. <sighs> oh, no, I don't mean it like that. I was just being clever. So we're on our way home. That and... would have gotten you in trouble, guys, and the camera's out of focus for a second. Focus, camera. No reason. Focus. Yes, we just ate, and now we're on our way home. So the heartbeat was between 160 to 170 beats. My stomach and everything's measuring just good. Everything's in the right position. Um, so yeah, I have to go get my blood drawn to, cause I don't know what my blood type is. I've, for some reason I've never known what my blood type is. So I have to go get that figured out for the whole home birth.
earth and everything. Probably gonna end the vlog here. That's basically it. I was just mainly just wanting to document our first midwife appointment and I'll document all of our appointments probably from here on out. So thanks for watching. Go subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Go follow me on Facebook and Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.